In this tutorial in Adobe Premiere Elements 2018, we're going to show you three ways to insert content into your timeline as you begin to build your movie. Most of the time, you'll be taking your content from your Project Assets container. We have another exercise that shows you how to add media and populate this container. And uh, so we won't deal with that now. We'll just uh, let you look at that if you would. But what we want to do now is show you three ways to insert items. We have this container and I have an audio file. I have several video files. We're going to go ahead and begin to populate our timeline. I'm going to start with the audio file first of all. When I look at the audio file, the first thing I'll do is left click on the audio and drag it down. Now you notice it will let me put it several places. I can put it in Audio 2, Audio 1, Voice, or Music. All of these are compatible tracks. I can also put it anywhere in the track I want to in the timeline. I don't have to put it at the left, but I'm going to in this case since it's background music. The next thing I want to do is show you how to do a clip. We'll just take a clip of this coupled here. I'll left click on it, drag and drop. Again, I can put it in Video 2. You notice it won't let me drag in the audio tracks, it's not compatible, or video one, and I'll just drag and drop it there. So now I have my clip of my couple. Uh, if I want this to disappear, I just click on the down arrow and I have more real estate to work with. Uh, the other thing I like to show you is what happens when you use multiple tracks. I'm going to take this uh, clip here and drag it down into video track number two. And then when we, when we go ahead to, to play this, we're going to see something very interesting. This is called my current time indicator, or sometimes it's called the scrubber. And I can drag that, and if I drag it, you notice I have these numbers change. This indicates the hours, minutes, seconds, and frames where I am in my project. And so when I move it over here, I move it just short of this one, Let's see what happens. I'm going to click on the play button, or I can press the space bar, and it will play the video of the couple at the beach, and then it switches to this scene of the bridge in the woods. What's going on here? What we find is that anything on a higher clip will be on top of anything in the lower clip. If I wanted to put this on video track three, four, five, or six, whatever's on top, will have priority video-wise of what's underneath. Now that's not true with audio. If I were to take an audio clip and put it right here, let's say of a gunshot, when I get to this moment in time, I would hear the gunshot and I would hear the music underneath. They mix together, audio does, but video or graphics simply overlays. So that's something to remember. I'm going to use Control Z to get out of that command. We'll go back to our project assets and we'll, we're going to add some more. Let's take this clip over here of two guys. I'm going to drag it down and drop it. And notice it magnetically attaches uh, to the back of the other item if you want it to do that. And that's normal for most of us. And I'll drag and drop it. Now why is this track different? This one has audio and video together. The other one is just a video track. We can do this as often as we want, left clip and drag and drop, and now we're beginning to build our movie. But now there's an issue that we're going to look at right now. What happens if you want to add a clip between, let's say, this one here and the second one? Let's take the clip of these folks uh, kicking around a soccer ball Take left, left mouse button, drag and drop. It will snap to the beginning of my clip number two. And I'm going to let go. And it did something really nice. It pushed everything to the right. Now when this is really helpful is let's assume that uh, I had aligned up with this track on another track, a title. And I wanted to make sure that the title always stays with the other item. So what that would do is that would give me the opportunity to move everything and everything that's on a vertical plane together moves together. 
But the problem I have here is look what happened down here. Is it actually split my audio track, my soundtrack. So how can I how can I prevent that from happening? I clicked on control Z to undo that. If I don't want, sometimes I do want to move everything to the right, but if I don't want to, how can I control one track at a time? The way you do that is you take that same clip, I click on it, then I hold down the Alt key on my keyboard. Then I drag it down, I snap it into place, I let go with the mouse, and now you notice it just moved this track it did not move the others. Now unfortunately here this messed up the audio that is tied into this video. So this is all out of sync now. And so you want to insert and only move that particular track. I'll do Control Z to undo. A better place for that track would be if I insert it over here. I'm going to hold the Alt key down again. And if I insert it here, and so now I have this moved and my audio on the bottom track is untouched. So you have to decide carefully if you're going to insert stuff into a project, whether you want to move everything to the right on every single track, which is sometimes the best choice, or if you uh, just want to insert that and only uh, adjust the particular track that you're dealing with. Uh, so you have to keep those two things in mind. So everything is aligned vertically and horizontally the way you want. Let me, before we quit, show you a third way to insert items into your timeline. You can use the normal drag and drop. You can use the Alt key to move things forward. The other way is you can simply use your file system. So I'm going to click on my file system here, and I have another clip. And in my file explorer, I'm just going to take it, drag it, and drop it here into my project. And when I do that, it will actually add that to my timeline. I don't have to put it in the project assets container first. But when I find myself doing that, if I click back on my project assets, now I have it there as well. So if you drag and drop on your timeline, it will automatically put that content into your project assets for use now or in the future when you're working on the same project. So the three ways you can bring items into your timeline, you can simply do a very quick and easy drag uh, with the left mouse button, drop it in, or you can do it holding down the Alt key if you only want to move things and ripple uh, them down the same track or you can actually drag them in using your file explorer in your Windows operating system.